Now, if I didn't tell you, you would think that this is beef fillet. In actual fact, it's kangaroo. I love cooking with kangaroo and I think it's underused. It's a super lean meat and it's got lots of flavour that goes with many other flavours. Dried blueberries are really tart so they're going to go nicely with the gaminess of the kangaroo. These are also full of antioxidants but I don't want to add them when they're dried like this. I want to rehydrate them and plump them up so they can go into a little bit of stock. This is veal stock but you could use beef stock or chicken stock. A good handful in there and they'll just soften up. Over here there's a pan that's heating up. I want it to be on a medium to high heat and I'll add a little bit of olive oil along with a small knob of butter and we can start cooking the kangaroo. Now I add the butter with the olive oil so it doesn't burn. So always a good idea to combine them both. And now I'll season our kangaroo fillets with a little bit of salt on both sides and then a good crack of pepper. When you think of kangaroo, think of venison. These are gorgeous little fillets and they're lean so they don't take long at all to cook. And just like every other piece of meat or when you're cooking beef, bring this out of the fridge at least 15 to 20 minutes for this size. You want them to come to room temperature so we do get that beautiful pink colour in the centre. So this is going to take roughly around three minutes on each side. We'll keep an eye on it and then we can get on to the other ingredients going into this. Yes, I'm adding blueberries, but I'm also going to add another flavour that goes so well, and that's rhubarb. Rhubarb is tart, slightly sour, slightly sweet, so fantastic for this. With a knife, I'll use one stalk for this sauce, and I'm going to slice it into batons. I've given this a little wash too, and then we'll just dice it into little pieces. What I love about this recipe is the kangaroo is sealed, taken out of the pan, and then all of those lovely juices that develop in the pan are going to be the basis for a gorgeous sauce. All right, let's turn this because I think it's ready to go. Oh, gorgeous. Nicely caramelised. Nice hot pan too. Another ingredient I'm adding is French shallots. This is what they look like when you see them in the store. They're quite delicate, so again, goes really nicely with this sauce. And I'm going to finely slice two French shallots or purple shallots, and that will go with our rhubarb. All right, that's looking good. Let's have a look at this kangaroo. The little one can come out first. If your fillets or your rumps are a little bit big, what you could do is just seal it off in the pan and then place it into the oven around 160 to 180 degrees and then cook it for a nice even finish. So I will add our shallots to caramelise in there along with our rhubarb. And I don't mind if the rhubarb stays slightly crunchy. It will cook down a little bit, but I don't want to overcook it so it turns into compote. I'll add the remaining butter and then allow that to melt away. I'll add just a small amount of olive oil to that too. And a good pinch of salt and a good crack of pepper. So think of pepper sauce, think of the sauces that go nicely with beef, also go very well with a kangaroo. So good crack of pepper. And once those shallots start to caramelise, it's time to add a little bit of red wine, about a third of a cup of red wine to deglaze the pan, bring that to the boil, cook off the alcohol. And when the smell starts to turn from that raw red wine smell to a really sweet, almost nutty smell, we're ready for our stock. Let's have a look at these gorgeous blueberries. See how plump they are? They've still got a slight firmness to them, but that's what I want. I want that texture of a dried fruit that's just been slightly rehydrated. And now that this wine has reduced and it's almost syrupy, we'll add the stock and the blueberries together. And for this sauce, I'm not adding any flour whatsoever. This is just going to reduce very gently for about five to 10 minutes or until it becomes glossy. And that's just enough time for our kangaroo to rest. See how this sauce has turned glossy? It's reduced a lot and it's thick. That is perfect. I'll have a taste just to make sure the seasoning's correct. Mmm, lovely. Really nice balance of sweetness, 
from those gorgeous blueberries. There's a little bit of tartness and also that lovely red wine flavour. Just perfect. Now this is rested so we can slice into the gorgeous kangaroo pieces and oh, I get so excited when it's cooked perfectly. It's pink all the way through and nice thick medallions of the kangaroo. See how tender it is and it's so lean. I like to serve it simply with a bit of spinach. This is just wilted spinach on the side. And then because our sauce is so wonderful, a good amount of sauce on the plate. Look at those little blueberries glistening in that sauce and the kangaroo onto the sauce, spread it out. And then if you're going to have such a wonderful sauce, you might as well have a full bodied French red. I think this dish sums me up completely. French red wine and this Aussie kangaroo. Dad will be impressed, mum will be impressed. Cheers.